Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 Episode 6 of the Millionaire Detective. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, I am hungry. <laughs> I don't know if I gotta wait until after I'm done watching two shows to eat. Hmm? Um, okay, this is stuff from last week. Get better. Mm -hmm. You might be worried about this for the whole episode. I mean, we've technically seen the the start of this last week, so it's just gonna get worse. Maybe with this episode. Yeah, you guys just say and explain. <laughs> He's so precious. <laughs> oh, damn. Yeah. Can't you just let them off with a warning or something? <laughs> I'm crazy. True. So, the, okay, hold up. If he wasn't, he had nothing to do with this. Why is he here? <laughs> as much as I love Daisuke. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Sometimes. Yeah, I might get you killed for some weird reason. Maybe guys are gonna get dang on business. I'm just saying.
Hey, this is the reason why I will never possibly get a futuristic car. Mm. Oh! Oh, shit. You gonna call an ambulance when they already dead? Mm -hmm. No, it's not. Well, yeah, so we're going to also interrogate you for something else. There's got to be something that, like, because of the way she's freaking out, I mean, I don't think it's life-threatening, but it's something, and it's not good. And do what you gotta do. Why does this look like LeBlanc? <laughs> I mean, come on now. You guys serving curry? We're so drool. <laughs> Hmm. 
But see that tattoo right there? That spider-looking tattoo that they zoomed in on? That's got to mean something. Maybe like a cult or a secret organization group that someone she knows is a part of. Because mm -hmm. if you keep doing that, you might not like what you find at the end of the road. She's not saying anything. Because I feel like if she does say something, and let's say she walks out of here alive, like somebody's going to be after her. There's somebody else in the, who's the higher up that also is in the combat family who won't let them access certain information. Why? There could be something that combat family is doing that we probably don't know about but that we're going to find out. Crunch going right back to that. But it would just be better if you just go ahead and tell the truth and just sing it. Exactly. You have to be bad cops sometimes. You 
know you gotta be a good girl. I told you. I told you. Hold the fuck up. Okay. So y'all, there, there's a murder case with the comments. Okay. But then, you so, wait, 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 wait. so now, Cho thinks that Daisuke killed that woman and one of the officers who also worked there. No, come on now. Nah, there's no way in hell. There's somebody else. There's a Something is really fishy about this, and I don't like it. There's some corruption up in this police business, in this police office, because come on, most police buildings and the officers, there usually is corruption. I mean, these are adults that age like that. As an adult myself, there's gonna be corruption anywhere, no matter what the hell it is. But do I trust Cho? No. I really don't. Ever since last week, I was like, I had a really weird feeling about him in the pit of my stomach. So he could be playing a fake, like he has a mask on. That's what I feel like he has. He's playing. He is doing something to the point where I look at him and I don't trust that little smirk he has sometimes. But I, like right now, I don't really know if I can trust Daisuke as much as I like him as a character. And he's one of my favorite characters. I mean, come on, you'll Fuck, but I don't think he did this. There could be something that is in the um, the folder that is really important that has to do with his family because of the fact is he can't access it without a password. With having you know this big freaking a smart like uh, uh, this smart computer that can hack through anything, but when it comes to something like this. That computer can't hack through it no matter what. This AI can't do anything. It's called, it's like Jarvis, basically. But it, it just, as of this thing right now, he can't hack through it. And so it just, you're sitting here wondering, what the fuck is going on? Why can't he specifically hack through this? Why isn't he authorized to do this aside the third? You're supposed to be a freaking AI and do whatever the heck you're supposed to. But no matter what, it's just like, mm -mm, you ain't got information on this. But I, like I said, I'm not surprised that the woman died at the end of this episode because... Even if she didn't say anything, she said a little bit, but she ain't say as much. In typical shows, whether it's an anime, a movie, a TV show, whatever, if someone talks too much to the police, to anyone, two or three days later or a couple hours later, they are dead in some weird, mysterious accident. And then you go back and be like, hmm, well, didn't she say a little bit too much? Because So I feel like somebody, not combat, Cho, in my opinion, it has to be him because if it ain't him, it's somebody else. Because why would Cho go this far to do and get all these answers? So I feel like the more Haru, and I mean, Haru's just an adorable cinnamon roll baby and you got to protect him no matter what. But I feel like the more Haru um, 
excuse me, goes into this, it's going to get more darker. Like, with this last little bit at the at that end, that is was dark. But he's going to find out something that he's not going to like. And that made me, I as a viewer, you guys as a viewer, we're not really going to like. And I, I don't know. I mean, it's just like, who, who, as of right now, who do you trust? Who can you trust? I don't trust Cho. I, I'm like flip-flopping between Daisy and Haru because I love them so freaking much but it's like you know they're both doing their own reasons and maybe if Daisuke did it then I don't know how I would feel about that uh, but I don't think he did it no like in my heart I don't think Daisuke would do something like that this is now going to be Daisuke trying to clear his family's name because if it is true like his family is just gonna go down like oh it's just I think this is like okay so, if the first half, the, like, last little bit of last week's episode is, like, part one, and this is second part two, this could be, like, a two, three-parter episode. I mean, we have, like, a couple, this is 11 episodes, so we got, like, a couple more episodes before we're done with this show, and I don't want them to be, like, let's overstretch this out to episode 11, to, like, a four, five, six-part series um, finale-esque. I want it to be, like, I feel like maybe next week, or if it's not next week, so this was, like, episode six, so... Either seven or eight might be, like, the last two for this quote-unquote arc to see how this is going to be solved. But, I mean, we ain't going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode six of The Millionaire Detective. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the match squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Thursday for episode seven. Bye, guys.